Hey, what's up? It's Derek Kirk of Effectatron, and I'm super excited to announce that there's a lot of stuff coming out. So the Mind in Motion Workshop is ready to launch. Enrollment opens up as well as the lower tier. There's the premium tier that has the enrollment. It has feedback sessions with me. It has a private community, all of this stuff, as well as the basic tier, which is just access to over a hundred courses. I'll have videos on both. Uh, but 100 lessons on C40 and Redshift, all 2023 and up, Redshift 3.5 and up, all totally new and relevant and up-to-date and constantly updated as well. I've already added more videos in since it started. And on top of that, you'll also get access to the ultimate um, Redshift Material Masterclass that you've seen on CG Shortcuts. I'm giving that away to you for free if you get the Mind Emotion Workshop as well because, I mean, it's a lot of content. And I think it's all just very useful and I don't want you to miss out on it. So the material pack will be included in the Mind in Motion workshop uh, list as well as the shapes pack that is coming out as well. So this video is just about the material pack. If you're not ready to commit to the Mind in Motion workshop and stuff yet and you just want to grab some materials, that's what this is about. Uh, but I, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you that you uh, get those included in the Mind in Motion workshop as well. So. Let's go ahead and dive in. So basically, I've just kind of created a bit, a little bit of everything pack, which is what I'm going to call it. And it's just kind of useful things that I thought are things that I kind of grab a lot uh, when I'm going for some things I want to be kind of realistic, some things I want to be kind of abstract and colorful. So it's just a little bit of useful stuff. And it's all just going to be very drag and drop oriented. So if you can see here, we've got rubber. Um, this is like our nice rubber here. We've got all these materials in here is like 140 or 130 plus materials all kinds and a lot of them are texture driven but they're not completely texture map driven and the reason i did that was because to me when i grab a pbr material i don't feel like i'm i can do much to it like i, I can recolor it and recontrast it a little bit but i don't feel like i'm learning how to create that material so the way i built a lot of this stuff is actually have a lot of the values and stuff built in here so they're very clean and simple um, nodes and basically they have the settings in here like in the subsurface section so you can actually like learn to recreate and how these work and everything they're not driven entirely by texture maps we have a few for the bump and that's pretty much it and then we can control the color and stuff here uh, however you want so they're all kind of built in that way that allows you to reverse engineer them if you want so you don't feel like it's completely dependent on texture maps and stuff but you also have uh, some cool texture maps that are definitely included in these as well so um, let's go ahead and just talk about what some of these are we've got a lot of rubber we've got um, some concrete which i thought was pretty cool and they're all drag and drop so you can just click drag it on there redshift ready and boom we've got this nice kind of concrete look here they're all scalable and tileable and everything and you're ready to throw on uh, whatever you want bumps and, and all that stuff it's all good i try to do as much um based on bump map and not displacement map just because displacement map doesn't really become drag and drop as much in redshift because you have to add it so these are all kind of like built to be um more uh just user friendly really and less as little setup as possible uh let's grab uh, some there's some really cool sss ones in here i'm really this is all i'm going to do is just drag and drop some of these on here because they're just Really cool. This is one of my favorites. It's just a really pretty um, subsurface scattering material. We've got uh, things like glacier and stuff to put on here. They're just kind of like noisy, but they have like nice soft edges. So when you put this on something that looks like a iceberg, it gives you this nice kind of snow like vibe effect going on, um, as well as like skin and things like that. Gummies, neon yellow, all this stuff. A lot of it's cooked around. Um, curvature maps and things like that that are very simple to open up and understand what's going on here there's really just like there's two noises and one texture map right there's even some procedural wood floor planks that you can grab that come in here and open those up and just use the tile shader to you know redesign your planks if you want a sawtooth floor instead of a plank floor boom you've got a sawtooth floor just like that just by changing that so there's some really cool stuff in there uh, a lot of the more more favorite ones are the, there's a lot of metals uh, rubber is really cool there's a lot of scratches and a lot of plastics because plastic and rubber i think are very very common ones so there's a lot of control and variations created for that to drag and drop in there let's go there's a lot of shiny plastics there's a lot of worn plastics a lot of cool stuff to drag and drop in and create stuff so really take the guesswork out of like you know building your material and be able to customize it uh as you go 
And so let's go ahead and grab like uh, an alternate blue plastic. There's all kinds of variants and things because once I get started making materials, I just keep going. So there's a lot of really cool stuff. And let's go ahead and grab like a, a worn one. Let's see, we've got, uh, let's do this worn fuchsia one. We'll throw that on there and we'll let it uh, cook up a little bit here. And that way we can see some of the detail in this. So you can see we've just got this nice worn plastic. It's become very matte and it just has some nice little scuffed highlights on it. Stuff like that, as well as lots of cool metals. Uh, we can do like, there's like a subtle steel metal we can throw on here. This is kind of your classic. Let's put on the IPR again. You've got, you know, metals that you can throw on here. We've even got some cool Tron metals coming on. Uh, so you've got these cool glowy edges and a nice black scratch surface. And uh, on top of that, we've got, you know, all kind of scratch gold edges as well. Same kind of thing. Gold trim on that. We've got like glitter balls, all kinds of cool stuff as well as like um, just some fun ones. But also car paint is a very cool one that I've created. Uh, drag and drop car paint. It's got flakes. You can control the flakes inside of this with the flake shader. Super simple setup. So because it's set up so simple, you can actually come in here and figure out how I created you know, a nice car material, stuff like that, as well as like those cool kind of sunburst car shape uh, shaders and stuff like that. Uh, classics like gold, like light gold, brushed gold, that kind of thing. Super nice drag and drop. It's very nice and easy to use. On top of that, let's go ahead and grab something. Uh, we've got leather as well. We've got light leather, dark leather, all kinds of things you can drag and drop on there and control the scale of. Uh, we've got some natural noise and stuff. Let me swap this back onto UV mapping. There we go. And you can just scale things down, tile it up if you want, whatever you want to do to make things fit better, look better, whatever you want. You can go in and control it individually. This is like a nice rough worn leather look. Uh, on top of that, we've also got really cool water. We've got nice, pretty soft glasses, things like that. They look really, really pretty right off the bat. I think glass is one of my favorite ones to create because it's so cool. We've also got like thick glass we can throw on there. It's going to be really, you know, kind of that more like block glass, like those um, windows, you know, that are made out of those glass that you see in bathrooms and stuff sometimes. That's a pretty cool one. Just some pretty artistic ones that are just ready to go drag and drop and easily changeable. Again, a nice soft mint glass. It's kind of this frosted mint glass. It's a cool one. Smoky ones, um, pretty frosted glasses, purple and blue glasses. We've got all kinds of really cool colors and things to throw on stuff, as well as fabrics. I know it's a little bit of everything, right? So we've got these nice like teal fabrics. We've got um, like a red sweater here. And they normally come in two different variants. This is the larger thread one. We have the smaller thread one. We've got synthetic. We've got black heather. Um, synthetic fiber, all that stuff, uh, all kinds of fabrics. Uh, let's take a look at some of the metals here real quick. Let's grab like an, a rough iron, throw this on here. And another cool one that I created inside of the glasses is actually a layer of frost. So basically if you have like a Coke product or a can or anything and, or a drink and you want to put some frost on it, there's two types of frost. You can just drag and drop this frost on top of that. And instantly it's going to add a layer of frost and ice onto your object. This one's pretty intense. This is like the real intense frozen one. There's also the one that's a little bit lighter, which we throw on there, and that's just gonna give it kind of this chilled effect, which is instantly gonna add like a little bit of frost on there. So you can put that on your glasses or cans, whatever, and you instantly have this really nice looking frost on there just by layering that on there. So very cool coral fabric. We've got all kinds of stuff. Um, so a lot of a lot of fun materials, lots of cool plastics, colors, rubbers, abstract colors, SSS, um, wood. Like I said, a little bit of everything. So we've got all of these that you see here, stone. Let's throw a, um, another stone one on there. We've also got like carbon weave. Uh, let's go ahead and like uh, asphalt is a cool one. Throw that on there. There we go. Instantly a nice ground, like a cracked ground floor looking vibe is a really cool one. Like that's, I mean, and again, these are made very simple. Uh, this shows you a little bit of color layering. Looks like we don't even actually need that or that. And we just have one thing driving it. And then the most of it is developed inside of these settings. So you can kind of learn how it's used and stuff. Okay. Uh, this is another pretty SSS, which again, always looks cool when you actually render it out. 
Uh, what was another one I was going to do? I think I was just talking about doing asphalt, right? I've getting, gotten carried away. There's so many. Uh, but yes, so this is the little bit of everything pack, which is, in fact, a little bit of everything. Um, pretty cool. All kinds of stuff you can drag and drop in. I'll try to do a lot of nice, useful things that are kind of generic enough that you can add your own stuff into if you need to, but are really, really good jumping off points if you want that. But if you're watching this YouTube channel, you can see down below there is a code for um, a discount. So go ahead and check that out and feel free to use that. I appreciate the like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Um, man, I love this thick glass look on this object. Also, you'll get this scene as well, which gives has one of my free shapes included. So enjoy and check those out as well. More updates coming soon. There's a lot, everybody. There's a lot. Thanks for watching.